Hello everyone. Good morning, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Professor Stephen Larumitu from International Christian Association. Please join me Thursday between 2 and 3 o'clock you know, to hear what God is having for us at this time. The message of the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. This message is very needful at this time to prepare for the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's very essential, very important that yes, you tell somebody to come and join you as you come. Don't come alone because it is very, very essential and necessary. It shall be well with you as you do so in the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Wonderful story of love. The love of our Lord Jesus Christ towards men. You came to die on the cross of Calvary in order for us not to die the second time. This is the reason why we are here again today to talk to you about the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. And most especially to talk about what Jesus Christ wants us to do in order for us to achieve the kingdom of God. We are all, you know, talking about in our religions, in our, in our faith and beliefs. I want to say good morning to everyone who are in the morning. If you are in the afternoon, good afternoon. If I have your time, is in the evening. Good evening. I pray that today shall be a day of blessing for you in Jesus' name. Amen. You shall win in Jesus' name. By the help of our Lord Jesus Christ, we overcome power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Victory shall be yours <coughs> in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The purpose of God for your life shall be manifested in the name of Jesus Christ. You will achieve your goal in Jesus' name. Amen. The reason why Jesus Christ created you in the image of that God shall be manifested in Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody will say, does Jesus Christ created, uh, decreated me? God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, they were together, working together. And I pray for you today, you don't miss your goal in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, once again, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. And this is International Christian Association, as it is on the screen. The so many who have been part of us, you know that we do tell you that this program is not a church program, rather it's, it's an assignment ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ who sent us out to go and talk about his coming back the second time. He came the first time to teach us what God wanted in heaven, and he died. He sealed it up. That whosoever will follow the path he laid down, the word he taught, you know, we truly enter into the kingdom of God. That's the reason why we are here again. And if you want to know how far we have gone, visit YouTube, search for Professor Lotu, you will see almost everything there. As for the studio now, we're on Facebook. You know, search for Professor Lotu, you will get everything you do. As for the studio, why don't you share with your friend? With somebody you know very close to, even with your enemy. Because this, you know, word of God is not for a friend alone, it's for both friends and enemy. Even for those that is speaking, even the word, to do what they needed to do for the kingdom of God to be sure in their life. The kingdom of God is, is not about what we eat, what we drink, not the attire we, you know, we put up in our own native culture or whatever. It's not about even the gift that you have. You may know how to sing very well. You can even dance. I can see the kind of dance that you see these days. So, wow, wow. You can even know how to fast. Jesus Christ says, the kingdom of God is more than all those things that we are talking about. It's about doing what he wants us to. If we say we must do in his love before he left us here or not. Anything 
is a one might not enter into the kingdom of God. That almost every millionaire believe that will come the second time. The kingdom of God will come the second time. Everyone believe that it will come one day, a place of rest. But what we need to do to achieve it is what we are here to talk about again. And it shall be well with us as we listen in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, once again, you are welcome in Jesus' name. My name is Prophet Olotu. And the same man of God, the coming together, we are here together. No other person ever gets it. So, Matthew, the boy, God bless you, sir. Amen. For this uh, you too. wonderful time again. Yeah. Doris time, the seasonal time of <laughs> God has come again to us. It shall be a time of blessing for each and every one. Amen. We shall not lose the kingdom of God. Even as we, you know, we carry the word of God to his people at this particular time. Let me say that this time, you know, he, 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 the word of God that, that people should, you know, should as among God. And this is why we have this problem we are talking about at this particular time. And the Lord will help each other. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. 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 In Jesus' Amen. name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord will settle your case in Jesus' name. Amen. He will fight for you. Amen. The Lord will bless you. Amen. On every side. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every sick one on their sick bed. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Where there are wars around us, here and there, in the south, in the north, in the <coughs> west, in the east, in the center. May the power of God set with them in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. You know, fight battle in Jesus' name. Amen. Both spiritual and physical battle. None of them will overpower you, will overcome you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a son that is coming to my spirit. Mm. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus reign ever, hallelujah, 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 Jesus reign forever, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus reign, hallelujah, 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 Jesus reign forever, hallelujah, amen, it is forever and ever, Jesus reigns, evermore and by the power in the name of jesus christ it shall be well with our souls in jesus name amen the reason for the coming of our lord jesus christ to this world of ours shall work for you and i in jesus name amen we shall not miss the reason amen by the power in the name of jesus christ. amen what is it that god is having for us at this time is no other word than what we the great we'll be talking about until Jesus Christ or God will say no. I'm changing this. Talk about some other things. Thank God that He speaks every day to those who love to hear His voice. When you don't hear about what He's saying, you become worried. Is there anything wrong? Because it's the way to eternity when God speaks to you know what to do. We'll be talking about the school of life for a while. The school of life, 
that God wants us to go back to the day he loved to come to man in the Garden of Eden to have a chat with them, to tell them what to do, that we lose, you know, we lost it to devil because of disobedience. We just, you know, learn easily we release our ground to devil to take over. But thank God for the love of God who brought Jesus Christ to us again to bring us back to that, you know, facilitation, relationship of them. And Jesus came, he came to really teach us what God wants us to do for us to enjoy, you know, the intimacy with him. He, he came closely to us. Hallelujah. That yeah. was why he came in form of, you know, man to us. He lived among us here. There are some things we don't understand until we find ourselves in the spirit of God, in the spirit mind of the Lord. We won't understand. There will be much of argument. For a while now, we'll be talking about the case of Abraham. Like, I can't forget that day that God said, go and talk about the case of Abraham. That the noise that I'm hearing in heaven is not what I expected. Maybe somebody will be saying, um, uh, you are a child of God, and somebody is not a child of God. God doesn't see the word in created that way. The day you believe in what the right thing you should be doing, you become his. It's not that you are not. He doesn't know you. know you. You can be even, you can be in whatever for war where you think you are, the, you are the best one because you are part of this particular religion. And if you don't do what God wanted, he will not know anything about you. Say so the ears of Abraham, I'm hearing noise about them. What noise that I don't, I don't expect from heaven? Who are these people? Say Christians and Islamic believers, religionists, you know, you know, you know. I don't know what you want to call that you call it faith belief. God said, all he wanted is that. We should be talking about what God Almighty wanted in heaven, what he needed among men. If you call yourself a preacher, I come as a preacher, child of God, follower of God, what does he wanted among men? Should be our message. Not shouting against one another, labasting one another. There is no cause in the messages of God. Somebody will say, but Paul said, you foolish Galatian. <laughs> that is not what he said. He's talking about what they've had. Why should you allow people to change the, you from the truth you know? There are so many who don't understand the truth that God is talking about. We just model the whole thing together. God said he's not sending anyone that call himself a child of Abraham to lambast anyone. Your father didn't do it when he was here. Hallelujah. Because we are, we are making noise that mine is the best. Mine is the best. I am number one. You are number second. You are number third. God says that is not what he's saying. What does God wanted in the kingdom of men should be our message. Hallelujah. Amen. And for a while now, we talk about why Jesus' way is the best. Is the best way. Because there are so many arguments out there. Argument. Jesus Christ's way is the best because he brought what God gave to those of old. It's not, it's not a new message. The message that Jesus brought was not a new message. It was the message that God gave in the law they are supposed to follow, that they have modeled together, that he came to, you know, to sort out for us, to sort out for us. He said to make it easy for you. Let me, then let me make it too. Just love God and love fellow brethren. It was the message that I was given. You believe in the prophet of old, but you are not doing what those prophets said. If you don't do that, you are not a people, you are not people of God, though. you are not a child of God. That was what Jesus brought to us. That became a new message now to us. New Testament. It, because he brought it out for us to understand. Open us up to understand what he's saying. What God wanted in heaven. Because I love your fellow brethren. 
Jesus Christ now, you know, he broke it down for us. Most, okay, if you think you've loved your friend, and you don't love your enemy, you have not done anything. So for someone to love his enemy, he must have gone, you know, millions of a million ways out of flesh. So he came to just now that to us. It was, he says, I have not come to change anything about what the prophet said, the prophet of those said, because they were the word of God. You cannot change the word of God. But if you don't understand, I need to teach you how to work it out. You can see mess around us today because we have moved away from that part of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Then for a few weeks ago now, God gave us another thing to talk about. The reconciliation. So the reconciliation is simply salvation of our soul. Salvation to our soul. That corrupt soul that carry out evil. Jesus Christ said we should change from it. You think you are a child of God, then you 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 carry out some evil. Say such a soul, such heart must be reconciled back to the original, you know, you know, mind that God gave to us in the beginning. In his laws. The mind that will carry out what God wanted. And what are we talking about, you know, in this reconciliation today? Last week we spoke about, you know, reconciliation of our thought. And today now we are talking about reconciliation from immoralities. From immoral, fact, when God spoke to me that you are talking about immoral, I said, okay, I have it down. But God now spoke to me today. Ah, when I saw what God was speaking about, I marveled. God was talking about the immoral that is going on among his people. Those who call themselves clergy, who call themselves priests. He used them as the analysis. Hallelujah. Immoral mm. that is going on. People don't care for who, who, who is who anymore. Hallelujah. Amen. Evil. Immoral. Evil. Sinful things. Wickedness. Wrong practices. Immoralities. Things that is not right. That God doesn't want. That when somebody says he's doing them, God will not see him. That everything about that person might be just from his mouth and never go to the soul. That is what we are talking about today, immoralities. I, I look at the dictionary, when it says immoral, it means right things. When it is immoral, it's not right. So what does it say to us in the book of First? Corinthians chapter 3. Let's see from verse 11 to 13. So what does it say quickly? First Corinthians chapter 3. Let's see from verse 11. <clears throat> we are talking about immorality today. Reconciliation. Reconcile yourself. You reconcile myself from immoral. If truly you want to enter into the kingdom of God, please think about it. What does it say? Mm. For no other foundation can anyone lay down. There's no other foundation that anybody can come and lay again. That which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. That is above the one that Jesus now came to lay. Now, if anyone be on this foundation, there will be so gold. many, there will be so many leaders before him who had spoken. You know, there are so many laws that gave room for, you know. You know, <laughs> when you break my egg, I will kill your shaking. These are the law for some people. Many, many laws like that. Many, many fails. But when he came, 
He came to narrate everything to us. No other foundation that can be laid for whoever wants to enter to the kingdom of God than what Jesus Christ laid. Because he came, he taught everyone what to do. And they were watching him. If he's going to work against what he's teaching, but they didn't see him to do so. Even they even brought a woman to him, and we saw her, you know, in the act. Maybe he was able to kill him. And they didn't get him. But today we know how many people, leaders are, you know, are turning against one another to kill one another. What does he say, sir? Now, now, if anyone builds on this foundation if, with gold, if anyone build on this foundation with gold, silver, silver, precious stones, precious stones, wood, wood, hay, hay, straw, straw, each one's work will become clear. Each every, every work shall be cleared. For the day we declare it. The day you want to, oh my God, the day you want to sell all those goods that you are transacting, you are a businessman, and you are selling gold, you are selling silver, you are selling wood. The day you want to sell them, you want to take them back to the market. That is where you know the costly one, the one that is better off. Everyone is going to, you know, lay down the hands, I mean, the work of his or hand one day. It says something for that, sir. But the day we declare it. The day we declare it. Because. Because. It will be refilled by fire. It will be revealed by fire. Fire will test our works. And you know what? For the beauty of, of gold, draw gold to come out, you must take it to fire. But the day you want to take wood through fire, the end has come. The wood will be burnt off. But rather gold will be transformed. The beauty will come out. He says something for that, sir. Yes. What does he say? And the fire will test each one's work. Yes. For what sort of, of what, what short it is. If anyone's work which he has built on it endures, he will receive a reward. If if the work, if your work, if my work has been tested and is endured, have you been able to endure some things that is around us today? I know I heard from a woman somewhere because my my husband went out with another lady, maybe mistress. I will too, I too will go out with another man too. And that sort of attitude will be tested. It's an immoral. As a matter of fact, it, 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 it might be counted as a mistake to your husband. Why is no more mistake for you? Because you know what your husband has done was wrong. And you, 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 you enter into that wrong same step too. He says something, sir. If anyone's work is burned. If any work is burned. He will suffer loss. He will suffer loss. But he When himself, the whole house is burned down, the owner of the house will suffer loss. But he himself. But when your gold passes through fire, it comes out as a precious thing, costly things to be sold for money, for riches. He says something, sir. But he himself will be saved. He himself may be saved. Yes, so as through the you fire. You may be saved. Through the fire. But when your works is destroyed through fire, then what will happen? Yes, so as through the fire. Yes. Do you not know? Do you not know? That you are the temple of God. You are the temple of the Lord. And that the spirit of God dwells in you. And that the spirit of God dwells in you. If anyone divide the temple of God. You are the temple of the Lord. And the spirit of God dwells in you. If you are a temple of God, what does he say should happen to them? If anyone divide the temple of God. If anyone now divide the temple of the Lord. God will destroy him. God will destroy that person. For the temple of God is holy. Why we need to know the concept of what we are saying today is that the Bible of God says that person will be destroyed, like what somebody said. So we must know what we are doing now 
that is not conforming to what God expected from us, so that our 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 our, our praise will not be an ordinary, ordinary before the Lord, that we praise ourselves, we carry ourselves, we call ourselves people of God, child of God, daughters of God, slave of God, whereas we are far away from his expectations. You see, such person will be destroyed. He says of the hmm. We are the temple of the Lord. Your heart, my soul, your soul, supposed to be the temple of the Lord. But and we are going to see what the temple of the Lord should be bringing out to his community today. But the temple see of anymore. God is holy. The temple of the Lord is holy. Which temple you are? The, the temple of the Lord is holy. Then which are you? Whose temple are you? Am I? Am I holy? Are you holy? Is it more in your life, in your communities, that you cause it in your family, your household, in your marriage? That you are the one that causes it. The one, the one that is that. Let no one deceive himself. Don't let anyone deceive himself or self. If anyone among, among you seems to be wise in this age. When you think you are wise in this age because you, you, you are a learner, you went to the, the school, you have so many degrees, you are very rich, you are, you, know, you are a man in position, a legendary, you know, a legendary in the community, you are known. I am known. You are honorable. He said, don't be deceived with all those. Let him become a fool. Become a fool. That he may become wise. You need to become fool so that you can be wise before the Lord. Don't be wise because of things that we mentioned earlier on. Because God wants us to be holy to him. And the only thing that can make God recognize you and I is to find ourselves in his holiness. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. The wisdom of this age, the, this world that we are in, it is not, it is not, it's not, it's not on this generation alone. It has been from the beginning. The knowledge of this world is causing us all these immoralities. The knowledge of this world. We are very clever than what God expected for man. He says what he said. What does he say? For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Yes. For it is written. It is written. It catches the wise in their own craftiness. It crashes the wise in their own craftiness. And again. What we are doing become crafty before the Lord. It catches us. We think we are clever. And he found out. The Bible says, and they came to Jesus. The devil came to him. He found nothing. No immoral in him. That was why God loves him. And he honored his name above every other name. That is why... The ways of our Lord Jesus Christ can never be measured with humanity. He walked in the spirit of God. He came holy. The holiness is not when you that your attire is, is you know, is, oh my God, is as white as snow. That is not what holiness is all about. It's not the way you greet that matters to God. It is not the attire you wear that matters. It is not that uniform that make you holy. It is not that is the sign that, that call you priest that matters before the Lord. It is not the preaching that you are hearing from me now make me holy. It says on his father, sir. Yeah. And again. And again. The Lord knows the thought of the wise. The Lord knows the thought of the wise. You know, we spoke about the thought last week. Your soul, what is coming from your soul, what is coming from your heart, matter before the Lord. That practice you bring out, that they are fertile. They are fertile. Therefore, Therefore, let no one boast in men. Don't let anyone boast in men. For all things are yours. Don't let anybody praise you. <laughs> Our pastor is very good. Don't let anyone praise you. Our prophet, ah, if you see that man, don't let anyone praise you, Bishop. My wife is good. Don't let your husband praise you. But let God speak well about you. If your way it doesn't please God, man will just praise you till you enter to the fire. He says something for that. Whether Paul or Apollos. Whether Paul or Apollos. Or Severus. Yes. Or the world of or life or death, uh -huh. or thing present or thing to come. Yes. All are yours. All are yours. And you are Christ. 
and Christ is God's. You know, everything about what you see around you belongs to you. God doesn't say you must not enjoy life. God does not say you must not become rich. But he's saying in your riches, make sure you don't sin against God, against the will of God. You can have riches and use those riches to bless the household of God, churches of God, mosques. You can even build houses of God and never enter into the kingdom of God if you are immoral. So what does it say in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6? Let's see verse 2 to 11. What does it say? Sir? Do you not know that the saints will judge the world? Do you not know that your character, if you are in a good character, you are the one that will judge the world that we are in here? And if the world will be judged... How will you, you how, how will your attitude, my attitude, <coughs> judge the whole world? And nobody around you who doesn't know... The difference between right and, and, and wrong. When they see your closet, when they see you in that your clothes, when they see you in that your you know neighborhood, they see you to be you know to be a you know a, a godly person. They will know. They will they they will tell themselves you are not like us. Before we enter to the kingdom of God, and before we move to the realm of of the spirit. How do you judge your community here? How do you judge your family? How do you judge the organization where you are? It's when they see your character being different to the worldly one. Then they'll be checking themselves through you. But when you want to... Let, let, I'm out of I mean, let, let's go, sir. Let's if you will be judged by you, yes, are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? <laughs> the world now should be judging you who's supposed to judge the world then what do you expect from that your world what do i expect from mine what do we expect from that place you are a leader what you know that the followers shouldn't be doing they find you doing it you will not have mouth you know maybe that was why we cannot check so many things around us today from our homes to our places of work to the nationwide Communities, we cannot check because we are the one that sending them. Those things we see happen. The leaders, most of the leaders are sending them. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. What does she say, sir? Do you not know? Do you not know? That we shall judge angels. That we shall judge angels. How much more? How much more? Things that pertain to this life. Things that pertain to this life. If then you are you have judgment concerning things pertaining to this life. If you have, oh my God. What it takes to be a judge in this world? Do you appoint those who are least esteemed to by the church to judge? <laughs> People of God, you know, we are talking about the, the, the what Jesus Christ gave to the righteous people. What he wanted to become. He wants you to become powerful when he found you in the ways of the Lord. He found me in the ways of the Lord. You be above the spiritual, in the spirit of you know. What is the spirit? We are talking about where devil is reigning. You will find yourself above it because devil is always coming looking for who he will destroy. But when you find yourself in the reigning of that realm of the spirit of God, doing what God wanted, you know what God gave to you to do. Is there something for that? Sir? What does he say? I said this to your shame. I said this to your shame. Is, is, is it Maybe true? you don't know your position. Is it true? Is it so? Yes. That there is not a wise man among, among you. Uh-huh. Not even one. No, no, no wise one among us now. Who will be able to judge between his brethren? Who will be able to stand clean, clear before his brethren? But you that call yourself people of God. <clears throat> is it not shameful now that you and people out there of the world you are the same. We are the same. They do the same thing that they see you doing. They find you doing what they were doing. And we are not talking about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, go and talk to my people to reconcile themselves back to what I gave to them. Brothers, Brother, goes to law against brother. Go 
the laws against brother. He yes, goes, he go to law against. Brother. Yes, and that before unbelievers. Before the believers, that was what Jesus Christ came to do. They were using law against one another then. But the law that God gave, He didn't add it to it. But men added to it. When He kill you, when He break your 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 egg, kill the chicken. When he goes out with your wife, make sure you do so to, to his husband too. All those laws that God doesn't give to man, he now came, you know, to package them for us to understand. That was why I say, why are you not wise enough to know the mind of the Lord? He says on the Father. Now, therefore, now, therefore, it is already an utter failure for you that you go to law against one another. Oh my God, you don't need to use law against one another anymore. Why do you, you are not to... talking about going to the court of law. That's not what he's saying. What he says is that there are laws that say we should forgive. But men don't go by it because they want to do their own thing. The law that says when you do it once, don't do it again. We don't want to go by it. We want to do it by our thing. That's what he's saying. It's not that when you offend somebody, take it to court of law. Hallelujah. That's not what he's saying. Why do you not rather accept wrongs? Why would you not accept wrongs? Why do you not rather let yourself be cheated? Why do you not allow yourself to be cheated? No, you yourself do wrong and cheat. You, every one of all, we do wrong and we cheat. And you do these things to your brethren. <laughs> Hallelujah. We do things to people. No wonder. So I said, whatever you will not take, don't do it. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's, I've never seen Amen. anyone under the sunlight who offend, maybe you offended the government of your community, and you will never plead, please forgive me. Even if you are a rogue, if they catch you there, so many people they are sorry, I won't do it again. Then if somebody now offended you, why will you not forget that? Forgive that person. So that you can be a rightful person in the heart of the Lord. That is what he's saying to us at this particular time. It is an immoral to kill somebody. He says something for that. What does he say? Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? The unrighteous will never inherit the kingdom of God. The not, immoral people, they will never. Do not be deceived. Don't be deceived. Neither fornicators. Neither fornicators. No idolaters. No idolaters. No idolaters. Idolaters. No homosexuals. Homosexuals. <laughs> we have them around now. No sodomites. Sodomites. No thieves. No thieves. No confessors. Confessors. No drunkards. Drunkards. No rebellious. Rebellious. No rebellious. Spirit. Revilers. Yes. No exhorters. Yes. Uh -huh. We, we just want to we just God. want to exalt yourself above the law of the Lord. We are in the power today. We can do anything we like. We can raise war against anybody. It's immoral. They will not inherit the kingdom. And they will never inherit the kingdom of God. That is what Jesus Christ said when he came. And they were now he passed it on to <laughs> us to talk about it. And so were some of so when last week when I, you know we spoke about when God spoke this year that he's going to speak about homosexuality. Mm. He said he's going to start from the people in power. When I heard it again last week from Putin, I said, wow. Thank you, Jesus. Your word in me. God said, go and speak to them about reconciliation now. Please pass it on to somebody around you. God is coming to judge the whole world. Including me that is speaking, the man of God that is reading the word. Fire might be coming out of our mouth now. It's not about the miracle you perform, because nobody knows the source of that miracle. But you that know the source of that your miracle you are performing, you know it is not moral, it is not righteous, it is not good. Please reconcile your heart. We spoke about repentance. Reconciliation is now needed. And such were and such were some of you. Yes, but you were washed. You are washed, but you were sanctified. You are sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus. Most of you, you are justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. By the Spirit of our God. 
Hallelujah. Amen. He knows every one of us, but some of you were justified. Some of us, some of you were justified. The justification will produce the kingdom that we are talking about. But he who is joined to the Lord is our one spirit with him. Seventeen. Go ahead, sir. But he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. He that is joined with the Lord is in the same spirit with him. You have not given your life to everything that some guy taught us here. You call yourself people of God, and there are some things that is mentioned in here now that I see in your hand. Homosexuality. You are a fornicator, adulterer. You are a thief. You are a killer. Reconcile now. Because the of judgment I will be brutal. He says, I'm to go for that, sir. Flee sexual immorality. Flee sexual immorality. We yeah. have it around us today. In fact, when you open your open your gadgets now, you don't want to read anything anymore. It's about homosexuality. It's about nakedness. It's about immoral. It's about, oh my God. Go ahead, sir. What does he say? Everything that a man does is outside the body. Everything, every sin that man does outside the body. But he who commits sexual immorality. But when you confess com sin, commit. Com when you commit sexual, sexual immorality, immorality, sin against his you own sin body. against your body, your soul, you become corrupt. Because what you are doing is wrong. It is error. It is not acceptable. You become smell. Instead of you to become a fragment unto God, you become a rejected person. Your oh. spirit will be rejected from the Lord. Oh, do you not know that your body is the temple of the mm. Holy Spirit? Do you not know who that, is in you? that the spirit of God is holy? It doesn't, it doesn't want to go with all those, all those immoralities. Mm. It's Holy Spirit. He doesn't want us to enter into all these things that we are mentioning. Flee from them. Let me flee from them. So that our communities can, you know, can enjoy the atmosphere of God. You are a thief. Before you still sort of, I, I saw some, they were telling them, maybe yesterday or day before yesterday on television, you know, those, these guys that were robbing people from their wristwatches, gold wristwatches. And then you see this guy brought up, you know, a cutlass. You know, you, 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 you prepare yourself before you steal from somebody to hurt that person, to kill that person, to put that person into a hostage. You cause oil onto that person, pain to some people's life. They are going to be questioning if you don't change now. Pass it on to your friends, to your husband, to your wife. Don't laugh it out. Don't ignore it. Reconciliation is now. Reconcile from those evil you have done. Don't say I've done so many evil. Can God save me? Can He save you? You can still save yourself by saying, God, here I am. Hallelujah. Amen. So what does he say to us in the book of that's in first Corinthians chapter 5? Let's see quickly what verse 156. Hmm? First Corinthians 5. 20. Verse 1. It is actually reported that there is sexual immorality among it is, you. It is, it is actually reported that, you know, the, you, you call yourself a pastor, you call yourself a elder, you call yourself a deacon, you call yourself, and you decipher you in sexual immorality. You are not working for God. You are not serving God. Among you, and such sexual immorality. There is no spirit of God inside of you yet. Hallelujah. There is no it. We 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 know if you have if you have if you have worked with the Lord, you will understand what we are saying. That the day of judgment where rapture shall come, it is those that allow the spirit of God to dwell in them that will rapture. It's not about sound, listen to the, the, the sound. You might not even hear the sound if you are not holy. Hallelujah. You might be you might be doing well in the church. You might be the one that carries everything they needed in that church. You might be a good man, a good woman. I'll never be there that day. I might be doing way to that, pressing me. If I shitty things inside, I might not get there. 
And such sexual immorality as is not even named among the Gentiles. And such immoral is not even mentioned among the Gentiles. That a man has his father's wife. That a man is having his own father's wife. And you are poor. And it's among poor. you that call yourself people of God. You pop up with it. And have not rather mourn. And you never mourn about it. That he who has done this deed might be taken away from among you. And who that have done it supposed to be taken away among you. And here you see condone them. You condone them among you. For indeed. As because your pastor you condone him. Your father. I mean your father, Even your bishop. is your king. Yes, is 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 our you know president. You condole, you can't talk about it in the church. Even even they don't want to hear about it because they're in power. But there's there's a power that is coming to surtie everyone one day to ask all of us questions every day. That day, the day of the Lord. For I indeed, God said to me, sir, I said to you that you go and simplify my word. Go and make it simple for people to understand. For I, I indeed, as absent in body but present in spirit, have already judged as though I were present. Him who has so done this deed. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, yes. when you are gathered, gathered together, when you are gathered together, along with my spirit, along with my spirit, with the power of our Lord Jesus with Christ, with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, deliver such a one to Satan, he will deliver such people to Satan, for the destruction of the flesh. Don't wait till the day you be delivered to Satan to waste your life, to waste your services here on earth. You can see change it, I can see change it. Hallelujah. We have so many things around us today. Because some people will be no fight. It is the spirit that we must fight against now. Hallelujah. Mm. Yeah, so there are so many people you know, as they call, call themselves, you know, uh, uh, they, they masturbating themselves. It is immoral to God. All those things they were seen before the Lord. There are rape, you know, rapes around, rapists mm -hmm. in the society, you know. It is wrong to the spirit of God. It doesn't want it to happen among us. Hallelujah. Deliver such a one to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, Did that his spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. It is better for them to hear now that God don't like it. Maybe the way it's coming out from the high authorities now, but maybe they will listen. Don't use it as power to run peoples of God down. That when they talk about what God says doesn't want, and you stand against them in the court of law, you know what? There are messages that are still coming. Revival is coming that will swallow all these immorals in our community. By, this, by the word of God. Your glory is not good. Your glory is not good. Do you not know that a little leaf leavens the whole lump? That is Therefore, right. punch out the old leaven that you may be a new lump. Let, since let, you truly let's are see, only let's see what Roman, in being Christ. Let's see what Roman 12 says. Sir. Roman 12 quickly. Roman 12, let's see what was <coughs> one. Quickly, I beseech you, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a you living know, sacrifice. You know, I realize something with what we see around us. We think reading the Bible, <laughs> preaching the Bible, dancing the Bible, <laughs> God is good reading the Bible, fasting the Bible. We think it's. Is what God is talking about. No, it is not. The day that the day that wrong appear before you face to face, like Joseph, and you cannot ignore, you cannot overpower it. It's an error. That is what he's saying. There will only be an error to our face one day, wrong to our face. There will be that money that is ah, this money. I must ah, this one will settle my. Maybe <laughs> so, no, a child of God must not do that. 
Why don't you do this to this person and take that position from her? No, a child of God must not be. He says something for the other sisters. Oh, God. By the message of God, by the message of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. That you present your body, I present my body a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable to God. Holy and acceptable to God. Which is your reasonable service. It is going to be your reasonable service to God. The only you. thing that can make your service my service to be reasonable is to present it as a living sacrifice, acceptable to God. And do not be conformed to the, this world. Don't be conformed to this world. What do you see them doing? But be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind that we are talking about. Reconcile your mind back to God. That I you, should reconcile my own to God. That you may prove that what is that? If you are a scammer, reconcile your mind back to God. Mm. If you are a fighter, reconcile your mind to God. If you are a proud person, you are so proud to the point that nobody like you. You are so proud that even you cannot humble yourself before your husband, your wife, even before the authority. Reconcile your mind. He says of his father, sir. Prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Prove that which is good and acceptable practice of God. For I say, for I say, through the grace given to me, through the grace that I'll be given. To everyone who is among you, everyone among us, not to think of himself you more must, highly than you he ought must to say, not think about yourself more higher than any other person, but to think soberly. You are, a, oh my God, if you are a clergy, don't raise yourself higher than the congregation among you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't raise yourself above, but to think soberly. Think so badly. As God has dealt to each one a measure of The Lord said something to me. It was baffled. The Lord said, please, don't ever think that some other power, any other control than my spirit. Spirit of God, whatever it tells you, do it. That is where there is life. And the man of God said, make sure you are holy. When your thought is not holy, it's doing things wrong. You cannot stand. You will do something wrong against the will of God for the humanity, even for yourself, for our communities that He created. Then says something for us quickly. As God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. Yes. For as we, as have, we, have many members in one body. Uh huh. But all the members do not have the same function. Yes. So we, being many, are one body in Christ. We are one body in Christ. And individually members of one another. Individually, we are members of one another. Having then give different, different, different according to the grace that is given to us. He has given us grace to work together let in us, the capacity that has given to us. Let That's us, your gift. Let us use them. Let us use them. He prophesy. Yes. Let us prophesy. Yes. In proportion to our faith uh -huh. or ministry, yes, let us use it.